AI uses a shit ton of electricity, yeah. Yeah. a shit ton. And people talk about AI taking jobs because it uses so much electricity, fucking plumbers, um, electricians, power engineers, all these people, the jobs are going to skyrocket. Oh, and ah. they're blue collar jobs too. Those are all because blue collar the facility yes. to generate all, all of that this electricity. Power. That's interesting. Yeah. Electricians, yes. Plumbers, not so much. The trade that he should have mentioned is the HVAC contractors. But that's not his fault because most people don't even realize the cooling load generated by electrical equipment. Data centers for AI come in all shapes and sizes. Smaller data centers are about 20 megawatts. Mid-size can be up to 70 megawatts. And the larger facilities are about 250 megawatts. All have very large cooling loads. But let's take a look at the two largest data center projects for AI in America. Meta has the super project that's gonna be about four million square feet. It'll be in Louisiana and it'll require two and a quarter gigawatts of power, which is the equivalent of about 1.4 million homes. And OpenAI has a Stargate project that'll be eight million square feet across several states, which will require 15 gigawatts of power, which is the equivalent of about 9.4 million homes. For reference, you typically measure a cooling load in tons. One gigawatt of power requires about 280,000 tons of cooling. That would mean that the Meta project would require about 630,000 tons of cooling, which is the equivalent of about 63 Empire State Buildings. It would also mean that the OpenAI project is gonna require 4.2 million tons of cooling, which is the equivalent of 420 Empire State Buildings. This is why when people talk about job security going into the future, not only the HVAC contractors have to install this, but all of it needs to be maintained on a regular basis. And that's just two companies with two projects.